What's My Line? Brought to you by Geritol, the high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic in liquid or tablets to help you feel stronger. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. I'm very happy to be able to present a top-ranking motion picture producer. I speak from experience. He produced a picture I was in with Doris Day called The Thrill of It All. But he is soon to be represented by a remarkable story that will be seen in pictures called The Chalk Garden. Mr. Ross Hunter. It's uh, my pleasure to introduce a delightful lady whose voice of Broadway is heard all the way to Hollywood, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, tanned and handsome, just back from South America, Mr. Bennett Surf. I discovered that all with Brazil and Venezuela and Puerto Rico, they all know our panel moderator. They review him with admiration, respect, and a certain amount of sheer, utter disbelief. And here he is, John Charles Davis. <laughs> I've been thoroughly disarmed thoroughly disarmed. I was going to announce that Bennett got to Brazil and the Cruzeiro promptly went to 1600 to the dollar, but I can't say that yeah. now, yeah. can I? <laughs> Thank you very much, Bennett. It's wonderful to have you back, I must okay. say. It's tickled to see you. Mr. Hunter, mm -hmm. I uh, hope you enjoy this first experience with us. I'm looking forward to it. Good. We've got some good occupations for you. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program. We meet our first challenger after this. And now to meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elaine Mason. Miss or Mrs. Mason? Mrs. Mrs. Mason, where are you from? Chicago. Chicago? Nice to have you with us. Mrs. Mason, may I present the panel? Now, will you join me over here, please? We'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we can tell you that um, Mrs. Mason is self-employed and deals in a service. And I think since you've had the big rest, we ought to start off with uh, you, Bennett, sir. Miss Ma Mrs. Mason, you're left-handed, I observe that, and you're very good-looking, I observe that, too. <laughs> uh, does the fact that you are such a lovely-looking person have anything to do with the work that you perform? No. Uh, <laughs> One thousand nine to go, Miss Fred. Mrs. Mason, you're a nice bronze. Do you work out of doors at all? No? Two down and eight. Win. <coughs> Two down and eight to go, Mr. Hunter. Mrs. Mason, do you deal with both men and women? Yes. Uh, do uh, you work uh, in the home? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, if I were in the right time and place, Mrs. Mason, could I use your services? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, could Bennett, because I'd like to oh, get him yes. in on this. Yes. I'm sure he'd like to. Oh, that's nice. Speak for yourself. So we all could. Um, would you talk to us? Yes. Uh, could you talk to more than one person at a time? Yes. Would you ever talk in front of what might be termed an audience? No. Or congregation? No. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, Miss Mason, is there anything, has your work got anything to do with uh, 
improving conditions in the home or around the home? No. No, Nothing I don't think so. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. From that laugh, I figure you do very well outside the home. Oh, yes. <laughs> <coughs> Is there anything instructive about what you do? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, with Mrs. Mason's permission, I would say that we would have to agree if you use the word instructive in a broad sense. That, uh, the only way I ever use it, John. Which I thought that might be so. That, uh, with your permission, we'll give you a qualified yes on instruction. Is there some fun attached to your job, Mrs. Mason? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll, let that, I'll let that answer stand. Six down and four to go, Mr. Hunter. Well, I gather if there's no fun, then you hate what you're doing. <laughs> so I gather you... Uh, do you need any special training for what you do? Yes. Uh, would you have to go to college to get a degree? No. No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. Mrs. Mason, do you do any writing in your work? Yes. Uh, is it creative writing? No. Uh, well, <laughs> I would say that very often probably some of Miss Mason's, uh, Clients would like to like her to be creative, though, wouldn't you say? <laughs> now, I guess we couldn't say it was creative, though, could we? No. No, we couldn't. We couldn't say it was creative. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Mason, does your work have anything whatever to do with the law? Yes. Uh, would you be more in the detecting side of the law than in the punishing side of the law? No. No. Oh. Nine, nine, nine down and one to go, Miss Francis. Does that mean you would be more in the punishing side of the law? Well, now, I would say here, because I think it's only fair to do it, that Bennett's question with respect to a relationship to the law was extremely broad, and nothing should be inferred from the answer that uh, is specific. Hello there. Does that mean she really doesn't have to do anything to do with the law? No, Bennett asked a question on a relationship with the law that was very broadly put. We had to agree that the relationship, no matter how tenuous one might consider it, was there. But this does not uh, sure, in any baby. way imply yeah. a Spanish <laughs> girl, you know? Well, John. Yeah. I should have said Is there anything that. punitive in your work? No? No. That's ten down and no more to go. For once we fooled you. <laughs> Mrs. Mason prepares income tax returns. <laughs> It's the D and E Mason Income Tax Service, I right? consider that punitive, John. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a troublesome area, Bennett, you know, and I must say I'm glad Mrs. Mason asked if there was anything that was fun about her work. And she said, no. <laughs> doesn't everybody love to have their income tax done? Sure. Well, I think I make it enjoyable. For I would think so, yes. <laughs> That's known as the Mason-Dixon line oh, that you no. just heard. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Mason, thank you very much for puzzling the panel. It's a great way to start a night, and it's been nice to have you with us for once my life. And now, let's meet a second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Ed Dempsey. Right, sir? Right. Mr. Dempsey, where are you from? I'm from Norwich. From Norwich? Norwich, New York. Norwich, New York. Yes, where is that, sir? That's uh, between Bengtham and Syracuse. Ah, so nice to have you with us. Mr. Dempsey, may I present the panel? Mm -hmm. You join me over here, Mr. Dempsey. We'll let the audiences at home and at, in the theater know exactly what your line is. Mr. Dempsey is salaried, and he deals in a product. And uh, we begin the general questioning with um, Arlene Francis. Is it a product that I might use, Mr. Dempsey? Yes, it is. Is it a product that would uh, uh, be seen if I owned it? Would I have it around where it would show? Yes, you would. Well, now, uh, John doesn't Mr. know if Dempsey I'd have it showing. He's been Mr. to my house. <laughs> For Mr. Dempsey, in what relevant terms do you speak of it showing? You mean, would you have it 
on display in your living room? No, 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 no. I just mean, if I were using Mr. Dempsey's product, would it show when I was using it as opposed to something that wouldn't Not show? show <laughs> yes. Well, I think in those terms, we can let the affirmative answer stay. Is it anything, Mr. Dempsey, that would be used on the person? No. No, all right. <clears throat> That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Hunter. Is your product uh, decorative? No. No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallis. Uh, is it then primarily useful? Yes. Uh, would you think that an average American home might well have one or two of these things around? Yes, they would. Well, would you be more inclined to have more than one than just one? Yes. Cheaper by the dozen type yes. of thing? Mm -hmm. um, is it anything that you... Is it solid rather than liquid? Yes. Is it anything that you would ever pick up in your hand? Yes when you were using it, the way Arlene is using it. So it shows, right? Would, yes. it, would you ever apply it to anything? Apply it to anything? Or you, anyone. You mean in the sense of, of hanging it on something or? Touching. Touching? I think not. That's three dot and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Dempsey, when this product is picked up by a person, uh, do they keep it in their hands sometimes for a considerable period of time? No. No. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Miss Press. It is not anything edible, is it, Mr. Dempsey? Well, I would think we would have to agree it is, wouldn't yes, you? Yes. yes, that's five down and five to go, Mr. Hunter. I asked that the wrong way, didn't I? Yes. It is edible. Uh, would I go to a special store to buy this? That's a little difficult. Let me have a small conference. Uh, would you go to a special store? Oh, like a drug store or a hardware store or... Um, for something to eat? Something Specifically, to eat. Uh, a special character of store. A drug store or a grocery store. <laughs> but specifically and isolated as a special character of store. I know, he's trying, I know, I know. All right, let's get it over with. <laughs> make it a six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. In other words, it doesn't have to be a special store. You might be able to get it at a general Anywhere. store such as a supermarket. Would that carry yes, your goods, Mr. Dempsey? It could. Mm -hmm. Which I might go in and buy a dozen of. But I wouldn't hang on to it very long. Is it... Because it's hot? Uh, no. <laughs> Seven down to three to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Dempsey, has this uh, edible product ever been alive? No. 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 Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Is it a product that one might use at mealtime? No. Is it a product it's one edible, might use? It's edible, but you don't use, have it at mealtime, huh? You might use. I would say with Mr. Dempsey's permission that the, given a certain specific set of circumstances, uh, it is possible that it might be used at mealtime. I see. Is there anything about this product that is helpful? Yes. Would it be found uh, certainly in a drugstore, therefore? Yes, it would. Uh, is, is it uh, in any way in the pill family? Yes, it is. Would it be a very good idea if I took one every day? Because I'm planning on it, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hard to say whether it be... Uh, I don't think we're competent to say, I being think. uncertain as to the specific need that you might no, have, you whether it be, be good. But we can agree that under certain circumstances, one might find it beneficial to have one every day. Yes. Are you ruling out vitamins when you say that? Is it something other than a vitamin? Yes, it is. Is it, however, medicinal more than... Uh, it would be anything else. It would yes. be something that would be used for a corrective reason of some kind. Uh, would it be anything that a doctor might prescribe? Yes. Would it help me if I wanted to clear my head, which I yes. do all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Would it help me if I had a bad headache? Yes. Yes. Can you do we it. use a brand name? Is it an aspirin or? Right. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Dempsey is with the Norwich Pharmacal Company, and I guess you make as many of, or more of these than most anybody else, don't you? 
Well, we make quite a few, about nine million a day. Right? Make nine million a day. <coughs> and at this particular, we put this here for a reason. We figure that when you go home tonight and get your income tax return finished, you'll need your aspirin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dempsey, in those races that we see on television, is your product win very often when that race that starts up at the throat and... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I must say, Mr. Jameson, we came very close to sticking him. And uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. It was fun having you Good here on chance. What's Thank My you. Life. Nice to see you. Sir. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment after this message. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends, as always, are blindfolded. Blindfolds in place, panel? Yes, sir. Good. Will you enter, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? One question at a time. In turn, moving clockwise, <laughs> we'll begin <laughs> with Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> Did you mention my name, John? Yes. <laughs> Are you primarily a motion picture star? Nope. One down and nine to go, Mr. Burke. Are you, uh, 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 on the other hand, a famous comedian on the stage? <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing at the present time in either a club or a theater in New York? Nope. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Hunter. Uh, are you basically a television star? Nope. <laughs> One down and six to go, Miss Gildellis. Have you ever been a member of this panel? <laughs> I didn't what get happened? the didn't yes. get the answer. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you have been a member of this panel? Uh, wait, let me have this oh, gun. <laughs> uh, Dorothy, your question is, have you ever been a member of this panel, right? That's right. And the answer is no. Five down and five to go, Mr. <laughs> Sir. Are you related to anybody that has anything to do with What's My Line? Are you related to anybody who has anything to do with What's My Line? <laughs> no. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Arlene Fred. What happened? I, we can't hear anything. Bennett said, are you related to anybody yeah. who has anything to do that with I What's heard. My Line? And, and our guest said no. No. And our, and, and our guest is not in the theater, he's not appearing in a nightclub, and he's not known for his work in pictures. What is he doing here? <laughs> Are you primarily a comedian? Nope. <laughs> Seven what? down and three to go, Mr. Hunter. No? Are nope. you in uh, the, the sports world? Nope. Eight <laughs> down and two to go, Ms. Kilgallen. No, no, I guess. Uh, do you make records? <laughs> yes, Mr. Sir. What? Uh, have you a record that is it, it has been the last six months one of the top ten records in the country? Yes, <laughs> Miss Francis. I know it's, it's not Van Cliburn, is it? <laughs> 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 Your question is, is it Van Cliburn? Am I the last one? Because let's have a conference. No, that's a no, and it's nine down and oh, one to right. go, and Mr. Hunter. Well, can we have a conference? You may have 30 seconds I for mean, a conference. I mean, only if you want one, Rob. Yes, I'd like one. What about Satchmo? He's got a hit single. I thought it might be his recording of Hello, Dolly. That's what, um, well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not uh, sure. If he plays an instrument, then you'll get the, maybe you'll get some of that. Uh, do you play an instrument? 
Oh, it is. Miss Kilgallen. It is Satchmo. It is. <laughs> Satchmo. <laughs> Yes, sir. I mean, I'm tired of playing it on the on the Victrola, <laughs> on the Hi-Fi. Sing me Hello, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dolly. This is Louis. <laughs> My friend. To be where you belong. Right. <laughs> you tell, darling, you're still growing, you're still growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, the bloom. <laughs> and the band's playing our old favorite tunes from way back when. Uh -huh. So. Golly gee, fellas, little faith in me, fellas. Golly, never go away. Never, never go away. <laughs> Golly, never go away you again. <laughs> Armstrong, one of those remarkable human beings who brings life and color and joy to every assemblage that he joins. Thank you so much. I must tell you one thing, having read the papers exhaustively, he's come to us. How long have you been at the hospital? Oh, about uh, four or five days now. Four or five days uh -huh. in the hospital. Yeah. And you don't. He, he... Well, uh, the left shredder there, you know. The what I mean? left shredder? Yeah, <laughs> my left foot there. That left one gives you time. Uh, couldn't stand up for a while there, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't do anything to your sense of humor. Cat come in the hospital and say, man, they tell me you have very close veins. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you broke us up, so that's it, too. Thank you. Well, Satchmo, I don't know when we've enjoyed the company of anybody as much as we have you tonight. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming to join us. Okay. And it was just great fun having you, sir. Okay. In balance, you've done very well so far tonight. We'll all be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. And good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night, John. Good night, Martin. Are you behaving? <laughs> <laughs> good night, Ross. It was Thanks. lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Good night, Arlene. Good night, John. Good night, Dorothy. Good night. Come again, Ross. Good night, Dick. Are you behaving? <laughs> good night, Bennett. I know my fellows are behaving. She's sitting right there. <laughs> it's great to be back again. Not only that, Phyllis knows he's behaving because she's sitting right there, too. <laughs> and good night, Ross. Thanks for being with us on What's My Life. <laughs> What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Tuck.